Welcome back to the Z Code System channel. Today, I'm glad to be back with you and thank you for stopping by the Z Code System channel here on YouTube to check out the latest video. And we're going to talk about the UFC 251, which is coming up on July 29th, July 12th, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, but this is going to be a huge fight or a huge um, set of bouts that are going to go on on UFC Fight Island taking place in Abu Dhabi. Now, this is, uh, as I said before, a, uh, a big fight card that the UFC is presenting. And um, just as we've seen since the UFC returned from the COVID-19 pandemic break, Dana White has packed the card with some big fights and some very exciting action that is going to go down on Fight Island in Abu Dhabi. Last weekend, uh, perhaps you watched the Poirier versus Hooker uh, show. The UFC put on fantastic set of bouts that went on some controversy, though, going on during that card due to the uh, judge's decision that went on in one of the bouts. But uh, a very exciting event, and this should be even better because this is one of the UFC's marquee shows, 251. As I said before, this is going to go on on Fight Island as the UFC flies its fighters all the way over to the Middle East, where the bouts will take place. Now, this show is going to take uh, is going to occur on Sunday, July twelfth, in the Middle East. Uh, but depending on where you are in the world, it could happen um, at a different time. I know here in the UK, it's going to be taking place at three a.m., which is not going to be too great uh, for me. I'm going to be taping that to watch the next day. But uh, in the U.S., I believe on the West Coast in the U.S., it's going to be uh, a bell time of 7 p.m. So something that you can definitely watch if you are a UFC fight fan. Now, this is going to have three big title fights coming up this weekend, uh, with the biggest being Usman versus Burns, which is going to be for the welterweight championship. Uh, this is a huge fight between the Nigerian nightmare Usman, who is just on a tear in UFC right now taking on the number one contender. And a lot of people, a lot of betters will be backing Usman because he has been such a terror for fighters in the UFC in the welterweight division. Now let's take a look at a few things here uh, on this week's video here on YouTube. And of course, you can go over to our blog and read about the UFC 251 preview that I've posted there already. And this week and next, we're going to take a little look, uh, a deeper dive into the UFC 251 event. So far, I've only profiled on the blog the Usman versus Burns fight, but I'm going to be going into the other two title fights that we're going to see at UFC 251. So stay tuned right there on the blog for those. Now, as I said, taking place from Fight Island, uh, the show that happened last week in Poirier versus Hooker, that took place at the Apex Arena, I believe is what it's called, there in Las Vegas. Uh, and uh, the shows so far the UFC has put on, uh, for the most part, since the pandemic, uh, you know, the pandemic break that they had, uh, have gone on in Florida, as well as uh, out in Las Vegas, where some boxing and different events are going on right now. So um, this is our first event to take place uh, outside of the U.S. over in uh, the Middle East. We did see a behind closed door event in Brazil not too long ago. But like I said, this one going on in the Middle East and uh, by reports that I've read, the uh, pandemic and the coronavirus outbreak there has uh, slowed and quelled and uh, things are kind of, in a way, back to business uh, in uh, um, the region, uh, the United Arab Emirates area. So like I said, July 12th, this fight, uh, this show will be going on and the 11th in parts of the U.S. Uh, on the West Coast, a 7 p.m. bell time um, that you will be able to watch this show from. Now, going on to the fight card. So this is the main fight card. There's going to be a, it's a big show uh, that Dana White has put together. And again, like I said, uh, following the pandemic break, the UFC has really gone to put on some big shows, the biggest they can, and packing them full of good fighters and um, you know plenty of fights uh, for fans to watch uh, to help bring in that 
uh, that casual fan interest and just to raise the interest of fans as well with, you know, not a lot else going on in the sports world. As I said before, the welterweight title fight between Kemaru Usman and Gilbert Burns will headline this show. Now, I've gotten these odds here off of my favorite sports book, which is uh, Bet365. You can use your favorite sports book to get the odds uh, for your favorite fight, or you can use an odds ag uh, aggregator to find the best odds before you wager on the fights this weekend. Sorry, not this weekend, on July 12th and 11th, depending on where you are in the world. Now, as I said, Usman and Burns headlining this show for the welterweight title, but then we are going to see the uh, before that a featherweight title fight between Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway. This should be a very entertaining fight as well. And, you know, depending on who you are and the type of fight fan that you are, uh, you may prefer the lighter weight fighters. Now, um, the lighter weight fighters tend to put on some very exciting matches, and uh, whether it be boxing or MMA, uh, as well as uh, putting on some very uh, fast-paced fights compared to the heavyweights. Of course, the heavyweights are always the ones that really draw the big money. But, you know, these welterweights, flyweights, bantamweights, very exciting fights. Uh, that they'll be putting on, and for the most part, we're going to be seeing some very, uh, the lower weight um, fighters contesting these bouts. Uh, the bantamweight fight there, Peter Yan versus Jose Aldo. Now, this is going to be for the vacant bantamweight championship in the UFC, so one of these two fighters is going to walk away a champion, and you can see the odds there favoring Peter Yan in this fight. Jose Aldo, a veteran of the UFC, so he could pull off uh, an upset there. Again, should be a good fight and as we can see on the main card, there are women's strawweight, Jessica Andrada versus uh, Rose Nema Yunus, uh, and as well as a women's flyweight with Amanda Ribas and Paige Van Zant going at it. And uh, the last time I was looking uh, up some information on the UFC, uh, some word about Paige Van Zant possibly leaving the UFC after 251, uh, possibly checking out uh, her options elsewhere and trying free agency. And as you can see there, Ribas is a heavy favorite in that fight. So it could be a, a big upset from Van Zant, or it could be a whimper as she heads out the door. Now we're going to see in total 13 fights on UFC 251. The prelims and the early prelims are going to give us eight additional bouts. Uh, that's a huge amount of fighting. And if you are um, one of those UFC fans that loves to tune in early to watch the early prelims all the way up until the uh, the main event fight, then you are going to be in heaven this weekend, and you're going to have 13 fights to wager on uh, when you watch the UFC. Now, maybe you don't want to wager on all those fights, and I tell you what, it's not necessarily a great idea to uh, to wager on every single fight. Pick a couple out that you like and fancy yourself on those. Focus on those and do your research. Now, one of the tips I can give right now uh, for betting on the UFC, and one that I've seen a uh, Quite a number of, uh, of uh, bettors um, offer this tip up before is to parlay, put a parlay together of a fighter, perhaps your main event fight, giving a, a betting on the uh, favorite there, and then going down the card and picking an underdog and putting those two together for a parlay. And that could be a big winner for you because as we know in the UFC, a lot of times we have these fights in which we have a heavy favorite taking on a uh, long odds underdog, and a lot of times we will see that favorite come out on top. Now, this doesn't always happen. I cast your mind back to uh, that Holly Holm fight a few years back uh, against Ronda Rousey and Holm coming away with a huge victory uh, on that night. Now, again, like I said, 13 fights, so there's going to be a lot of great fighting I encourage you to do your research, check out the fight card, pick out some fights that you are interested in wagering on, and go back, look at the previous fights these fighters have had, their last six, ten fights, and uh, check out those outcomes and uh, make your predictions and your bets based on some great ideas or some great research that you've done from the past. Now, as I said before, title fights this weekend, or sorry, on July 11th, 12th, uh, going on at UFC Fight Island. So the title fights, we've got the welterweight championship, Usman versus Burns, which I've profiled already on the blog. You can go over there and read all about it. Now, interesting thing here, these two were uh, fight camp 
uh, training partners uh, until Burns got the uh, number one contendership and also getting the title fight against Usman. Uh, once he got that title fight, we saw Usman in the last couple of weeks leave the camp that they were uh, a part of, which was the Sanford fighting camp. And he's now moved, uh, changed coaches and is working in a fight camp in Colorado. So this could have a tremendous uh, bonus or, you know, a, a, a boost Usman to beat Burns, or it could affect him to go on and lose the bout. Now, this could go either way, but what we do know is that the Nigerian nightmare, Usman, has just been a fantastic fighter uh, over the last, oh, geez, since he's really joined the UFC. Um, he's a, he's a, was a college wrestler previously before joining uh, Mixed Martial Arts, and that wrestling background, as we all know, uh, the wrestling backgrounds really help fighters uh, as they, you know, with their uh, groundwork and uh, with their submission maneuvers. Now, uh, interesting here, Usman, four of his last five fights have gone to decision. And as well, Burns, four of his last six fights have gone to decision. So I really expect this fight to go to a decision uh, with Usman picking up the victory uh, with a, a unanimous decision over his ex-fight uh, training partner, Burns. Now, that is going to be a huge fight and will headline the show. Uh, but there are also, as I said, two other fights. And we're going to see Alexander Volkanovsky uh, taking on Max Holloway. And we're also going to see the vacant bantamweight title go to Peter Yan versus Jose Aldo. Now, in the coming uh, days, and we've got a couple of weeks away from the fight, uh, from the show, the UFC 251 show. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting previews of both of these two fights and giving my predictions and uh, right before we get to UFC 251, we'll probably come back here on the Z Code System channel and give you a little update on a few things as we get ready. Because, of course, as we know with the UFC, things do happen where fights get canceled at the last minute uh, due to injuries and due to different things. And, of course, with the coronavirus still uh, well, with it flaring up in the U.S. right now, we could see something happen to where a fight uh, gets altered or canceled at the last minute. So we're going to stay up to date on this, and we'll come back on the channel right before we get on to UFC 251. Now, guys, we have a great tool over at the Z Code System uh, website, and you can go over there and you can use the line reversal tool, which is now updated to be used for UFC. And as the day is coming up for UFC 251, you can go on there and you can find out how the sharp betters are wagering on the fighters and each bout. So go over there and check that out and have a go at this fantastic tool. Of course, I said I'll be back with a couple more blogs coming up in the next week or two uh, to profile the other uh, title fights that are coming up at UFC 251. And we'll be back here on the channel to give you some more uh, updates and predictions and picks. So guys, good luck with your UFC betting. If you want to get in early and get your odds uh, right now, then go over to your favorite sports book and start uh, getting that in line and wagering. And also start doing your research. If you're not sure which fights or which fighters you want to bet on, you need to be doing your research right now to get onto that for the show on July 11th, depending on where you are in the U.S. and July 12th if you're in the U.K. and Europe and uh, the Middle East. So guys, we'll see you soon here on Z Code System. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Stay safe, and we will be back.